Okay guys, so I'm sitting here in our men's manicure pedicure section at BHA and uh, I was just chilling out and we thought it was a great idea to do the latest vlog. Unfortunately, Juju is not here with me today and I know I'm, I'm not as popular as she is but uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy this one because we're going to be review reviewing the uh, Lux Style Awards and the nomination for the Lux Style Awards. Uh, it's a huge, huge event for those of you who don't know and it's uh, Pakistan is one of the most credible awarding bodies for achievement in uh, fashion or something fashion related. We've got many many uh, categories uh, for ranging from best TV actress to best satellite actress to best fashion designer. Uh, the range is huge, the talent is great but uh, the range is huge and the talent is great but, what I was, but today what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be tackling the fashion section of it. So, first and foremost, we're going to be going through the nomination for Model of the Year Female. And this one is Amna Ilyas, uh, who is uh, brilliant. She's got really short hair. I've been trying, trying for her to do a shoot for us, a Korean guy, but uh, so far I haven't gotten her in hand because uh, she lives in Karachi. Uh, Ayan Ali, who's beautiful, as you guys all know, I think she's Lohar's uh, favorite model. Um, Sibyl Chaudhary, who's also gorgeous and a good friend of mine. Marilyn Sayed of The Queen. Obviously, uh, you know, she's doing high fat as well. And Rabia Bhatt, who in my opinion is the most beautiful uh, model we have right now. So, if I had to choose, I would say either Mary Sayed or Ayan should win this time. But that's only because Mary Sayed is, you know, every fashion show you go to, she's always the showstopper or the beginner of the show. And, uh, you know, fashion wouldn't be the same without her. Yes, she's a veteran in the industry. Uh, but you know, I think she does this of it. Uh, Ayan, I feel uh, Rabia Bhatt won it last year, so I think we're going to change it up. Then I think Ayan because uh, you know she has been uh, very kind of uh, she's been on the scene lately and she's been on all the magazines. She's got a lot of covers and uh, people love her. Okay, so secondly, uh, model of the year Abbas Jafri, uh, Ifi Zafar, Tasha Divan, and Wali Khalid. Okay. So Abbas Jafri is the guy with the beard. Uh, he's quite relevant these days, and I, you know a lot of people have been using him for shoots. It's my we used him for a shoot. We used him for our shoot. Republic, uh, my woman Farooq uh, used him as well. So for me, it would be him. If he won it last year, uh, Kashif Diwan is also great. He's got very international face, uh, blondish hair. Uh, I haven't used him for a shoot yet, but uh, Republic. I saw the shoot with Republic, and I thought it was really, really good. Um, Walid Khalid, he is also a great person. He's, he, you know, I see him in all the ranks. But for me, uh, for relevance in 2012, it would be Abbas Jafri, the guy at the chair. Okay, so moving on, best emerging talent. Uh, we have uh, Akif Memu, uh, we have Azim Sani, we have Nad uh, Mohsen Ali, Nadir Feroz Khan, and Maha Bani, they're the photographers, and Zaheer Abbas, who's the designer. I was nominated last year for best emerging talent. I was beaten by. Uh, she's for me, I, I think Nadir Feroz Khan was really, really talented. Uh, I mean, he did his work. He did that video for Nabila. I don't know if you guys remember, uh, but it was a really cool video. And I know he's really, really, uh, he's really, really talented. Maha Burni, again, a good friend of mine from Karachi. Both Nadir Feroz and Maha Burni are from Karachi. And I haven't seen a lot of their work, but I'm quite confident that they're really good. Mohsin Ali, for me, I think, uh, Zaheer Abbas, by the way, for me, it's a close one between Mohsin Ali and Zaheer Abbas. Both of them really, really talented. I saw Zaheer Abbas's work at Showcase uh, when my wife was doing the hair and makeup uh, in Karachi. Uh, and Mohsin Ali, again, is a really, really good friend. We saw, uh, I think about two or three years ago, we came out uh, from uh, EIFD. For me, it's either one of the two, okay? So, now moving on to uh, best, uh, best, hair, uh, best hair and makeup. The hair and makeup section. Yours truly has been nominated this year for the hair and makeup section along with uh, the creative team at Nabila, Maram Azmat uh, and Rana Khan. Maram, uh, Maram did uh, recently did uh, the hair and makeup. They teamed up with Tony and Guy for the third day of the hair and makeup in, uh, uh, in the Lower Fashion Week and they did amazing hair and make, uh, They did amazing makeup. We did the amazing hair. Uh, Creative team at Nabila. Now Nabila had just finished off her big show for L'Oreal. I saw snippets of it. It was a huge production. It was really, really nice. Uh, she did these elaborate kind of headsets, and it was uh, 
She had done this, her theme was kind of like a twin joint by the hip. And of course me, I just, I just submitted a huge portfolio uh, to uh, the jury at the LSA and I hope they like it and let's see. I think it'll be, uh, um, I, I shouldn't really comment on this category, I think I'll let you guys decide. Achievement in fashion design prep. We have uh, Iman Ahmed from at Body Focus. We have Kamiya Roki, a very, very good friend. Uh, Kadi Kaas, which have been doing amazing things. Uh, Sanam Chaudhary uh, and Sanya Maskatiya. Uh, now Kami is a good friend of mine and uh, you know, for, at this, this year at uh, Lower Fashion Week, he did a really amazing press line uh, and I think it's really really good and the cuts and the design are really good. It was really accepted by the press. So uh, I think that's good. Kadi Khan is you know my wife's favorite. Uh, she loves Kadi Khan. She just wears them every single day of her life. And uh, Sanam Chaudhary, uh, she this was her third fashion week this year and uh, you know she got some really really good stuff. But I think more uh, for me she's more like luxury bread than bread. Uh, so for me, I would choose Sanya Muscatia if I was in the core of uh, the LSA because A, she's uh, brilliant at what she does uh, and uh, she's new uh, and you know, it's, it's very different, her work is very different, it's not embellished with calm or anything like that, but the cuts and all are very good. Okay, uh, then we're moving on to uh, achievement in luxury prep. Uh, we have Adnan Pardesi, we have Ali Zishan, we have Khatija Shah from Ilan, and we have Sanya Maskitia, and we have Shela Chatu. This is a difficult one. Uh, because Adnan Pardesi, luxury bread, I mean, from Karachi, he's really, really good. Ali Zishan, really good friend of mine, I'm the biggest fan of this one. Khatija Shah from Ilan, from what we saw from Fashion Week, it was really, really good, more kind of western, really, really nice. Sanya Muskitia, again another favorite of mine and Shela Chatu also really good. I love the jumpsuit that she did from her last collection. So, uh, for me, I'm being a little bit biased but uh, I would say Ali Dishan uh, but I don't know, it's a close one. The jury is going to have a tough time with this. Then, we have Achievement in Fashion Design Lawn. Uh, we have Deepak Parwani who, uh, you know, Deepak Par Parwani for Orient. We have uh, Khadi for Khadi. We have Sana Safinaz, we have Umar Saeed, uh, and we have Varda Lord. Now, uh, Sana Safinaz for the huge row with the campaigns and everything, although I didn't think it was that bad, to be honest with you. And this is a tough one. And uh, although I don't know too much about Dawn, I must admit, uh, but I would have to say either Umar Saeed or uh, Sana Safinaz. Then, best high street brand, Daman, from Asia, Generation, Khadi, and Cheap. Okay, Funk Asia, really really good brand, they've got this boho kind of thing going on and uh, you know she works really really hard at it and uh, I think Funk Asia is really good, Generation and Khadi, I mean it's really close. I, either for me I would give it for Funk Asia or Khadi, they've both been doing really really good work for uh, high street brands and even Generation for that matter, a lot of people going in, uh, you know they're doing a great thing for the high street brand, people just come up and pick up what they like and I think it's a good move. Uh, for Pakistani fashion to be moving into from Kuchor. Uh, best menswear designer Faha Hussain, Hassan Sharia Yasin, Ismail Fareed, uh, Jazeed Kamar, and Umar Farooq. And the winner is. I would have to say Umar Farooq. <laughs> I know I work for him as well, but I would say in the menswear category, he is the most. Uh, uh, wearable, uh, as well as a little bit rebellious. Hassan Sharia Yasin, I mean I recently saw a new app, if you guys haven't seen it, uh, download it. And uh, it has, uh, uh, there's a Game of Thrones or Game of Kings collection, sorry. And it's got great, great reviews on that as well. And I think it's got great stuff on it. But I've never really seen people walking around saying I'm wearing, men saying that I'm wearing a Hassan Sharia. Although his designs and stuff are really, really good. Uh, it's my Fareed from Karachi, I've been a client of his, also really, really good, we used his clothes for one of our shoots with, uh, uh, with the guy with the beard 
and uh, and I think he's good as well. Uh, and Jazid Kamar, I'm not too sure about. But Omar Farooq definitely, I think Omar Farooq should win it this fight. Fahad Hussain, although he's a great, great designer, I've never seen him design anything else. So I don't know why he's in this category. Maybe perhaps there was a slip of pen by the uh, by the by the Lux Style Award body, but. Uh, but yeah, for me, Omar Farooq. So I hope I haven't bored you. And uh, you know, uh, this is our last. Uh, this is what I'm. This is it for the for today. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Remember to wear sunscreen. It's really, really hot.